Hi all, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, it's good to see you all again. Well, I'm not seeing you, but you know what I mean. Um, and we are back off the international break. Um, it was boring to say the least. I do watch England a fair bit and the football was boring. However, England didn't get the job done. Did get the job done. Uh, three wins out of three. Although it was three relatively poor performances in my opinion. But we got the wins. That's what matters. Um, although Southgate could play some nicer football. But that's not why we're here. We're here about West Brom. And although Sam Johnson didn't get a chance to play. He still got offer him congratulations on his first call up. Fully deserved and hopefully get, some, get a chance to play a game for England in the future. Um... He fully deserves it. Been our outstanding, been our standout player of the season. Um, when they come to the player awards, I don't even think they they should bother asking who they think should be voted because it will be him. So, back from the international break, and we're into our first game. We'd like it to be an easy one. However, that's never the way. It is Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Now, I don't need to tell you how dangerous Chelsea can be. Um, under top, they seem to be reformed under Thomas Tuchel. And I'll be honest, I doubted him at first. He, I was, um, I was very doubtful when he signed as to whether he'd be able to done what he do what he did with Chelsea, what he did with PSG. But he has done an excellent job. They, I don't think he's lost as manager under Chelsea yet, and I think he signed in November or something like that. It must have been November, December time, and he's not lost yet, which is seriously impressive. Um, so my congratulations out to him and he's a fantastic manager prove me wrong he um, he hasn't conceded a goal from open play yet at Stamford Bridge either I don't think I know he has in the cups in one of the cup games but I don't think he's conceded a goal from open play yet which is seriously impressive they, the defence looks rejuvenated They um, their attacking is good they've got um Dangerous players like Timo Werner, uh, Kai Havertz, Mason Mount, um, you name it. They they are so dangerous. Ziyech. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of the people. I don't want people to... Like, Timo Werner's been on a bad run of form. Missed the sitter against North Macedonia in that shot. Well, however, Timo Werner, you can't... There's no denying that he is an excellent, excellent player. And knowing West Brom's today, will uh, this will be the game where he picks up his form. Um, he's a fantastic striker. And I I like Timo Werner a lot. He strolled. I said it'd take him a couple seasons when he signed, but I like him a lot, and I think he will come good for Chelsea. He's a dangerous player, as are a lot of Chelsea's team. Um, it's it's going to be a very tough game. I I'd like to, I I don't feel very confident at all. Whenever I don't feel confident, we tend to get a draw or something. But I don't think that'll be the case. Um, I, I, I think we'll be lucky to score, to be honest. I think if we do score, it'll probably be from a set play. Like a corner, free kick, penalty. But they are very, very good. And I seriously doubt we can, um, we'll score. I think it will be 3-0. But I think I'll get onto that in a bit. Key players are Grady's back from injury, I believe. Hope Cam Robinson always seems to have a good game against Chelsea, um, and I rate him higher than Diania at the minute. I don't care how good Diania is, it get with his movement, he is constantly offside and he keeps seeming to miss sitters, and that winds me up because he's a striker. He should be scoring, and he should know how to use the offside rule correctly. Callum Robinson is always dangerous. Last time he played was against Wolves, and he was two penalties. He was a nuisance throughout the whole game. So I think he should be playing, and he definitely should play this one because players seem to just have good games against some teams, and Callum Robinson scored three Premier League goals, and all three of them were against Chelsea. So I think he should play. Um, we've got Pereira. We've got Barley's been playing well. Sam Johnson, excellent this season. Townsend, he's been good. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't be confident about this game. I'm going to watch it, and I think it should be a good game. Confident? No, not at all. And I think the reason is that I think it ultimately comes down to the fact that Chelsea just out, out, are just the form they're on at the minute and the form we're on and how good they are and how we've struggled. I just, none of it adds up. 
and I don't think I think it'll be three 0 to Chelsea. Um, I, if we if we get anything if we get anything from this game, I would see it as a massive massive pro. We do we technically need a win, however, a draw would be a fantastic result in this game. Um, yeah. Um, I I don't see anything but a loss. Anything extra than that to me will be fantastic. I said that against Man United, so you never know. But hopefully we do play well. Hopefully we put in a good performance to be proud of because that kind of game was embarrassing. Um, and hopefully the lads try and do their best. And hopefully, uh, to be honest, Sam Allardyce, I still don't like you. Please, please go away. I don't really care if you keep us up. Well, if you keep us up, that would be lovely, but I still don't want you. Please go away. <laughs> Have a great day all. It's good to be doing the channel stuff again. And, and um, hopefully we get a result. Come in your baggies. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a, there's a video coming in the next week or so about what my plans are now that restrictions are being dropped somewhat. And my plans of me performing at Leeds Festival, which is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for that. And um, all the stuff as well. So I'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.